What's happening, you guys? This is Lafayette J. Gunner here, back with another video. I want to just talk about saxophone. Just for a reminder, um, if you guys are not with the whole saxophone talk or the whole saxophone geek stuff, because I talk about nothing but saxophone and jazz and music theory and stuff like that. I'm still trying to figure out music theory and everything, so um, yeah, this might not be the video for you. But um, for those that do want to um, uh, tune into this video, just keep watching. Because I want to talk about a saxophone that I haven't got the chance to actually, um, you know, make a video about. Because I've been so busy with work and life and, yeah, this whole coronavirus stuff. Life kind of got in the way. So, um, uh First and foremost, uh, I want to talk about a baritone saxophone I have in my possession. It's one of my favorite horns out of my whole little collection of saxophones I have. Um, it's a uh, Cuff Superbo uh, 1 Low A, uh, and I've been playing it for since August. I had it since August, and it's a fantastic horn. I bought it from a... Um, a, nice, a very nice gentleman uh, that um, was uh, that had the pleasure of um, um, well not giving it to me but you know loaning it to me and buying it from him you know and I just been playing on this horn for quite some time um, and this horn is um, a great I don't know, it's like one of the best baritone saxophones I've ever played. I think it's because of the metal. I think it's um, a powerhouse of a baritone saxophone. It's great. It's a great horn. Great, big, full, fat, honking baritone saxophone sound. And, um, yeah, I know you probably can see that I got that cut on my own because that's from practicing so damn much. You know, I got a cut right there. But, um, yeah, um... This horn um, gives me so much gives it gives me so much joy when I pick it up off the stand, off the band, uh, the um, saxophone stand. But I, uh, if you're wondering, I play on a metal Audelink Super Tone Master. I normally used to play um, these mouthpieces on on tenor and alto, but I don't. I, I switched to uh, Meyer because I'm going through a whole Grover Grover thing, <laughs> Grover Washington Jr. thing. Um, and uh, I might wind up making doing a video review on a Meyer mouthpiece on baritone. And uh, there's not so many um, um, reviews on the um, Autolink Super Tone Master. Uh, this is actually, yeah, I thought it was a six, but this is a seven. So uh, this is a seven tip opening with a Rico Royal two and a half uh, read. I always rock with. I don't know why I play two and a half, but I guess that's it's personal preference. It makes me comfortable. Um, uh, let's, instead of all the, yeah, let me showcase the horn. This horn was built in 1970, uh, I think. Yeah, 1970, around 1970, 1973. Uh, yeah, this is a great low A baritone saxophone. They don't make uh, low A's like this anymore, and this is made in Germany. sounds weird. Still trying to figure out funk on a Barry sax, but I'm so jam I'm more into the whole jazz when it comes to Barry. 
tweaks here and there and uh, I'll be doing a case review on this berry because I have a really old case that I'm gonna get rid of and um, and yeah um, definitely because there's a new case that I, um, I've been looking at it's from the Protec it's like a Protec wheel wheel backpack case I'm definitely gonna do a video review on that so definitely stay tuned for that um, this um, uh, I was actually really excited. This is this has to be one of my first low A baritone saxophones I've ever owned, which I was really fortunate because a lot of these horns you don't really see a lot of um, these old cow works anymore. And um, if you do find a cow work, keep it. <laughs> so um, yeah, please if you find one of these horns, yeah, keep it. You know, because they they are definitely uh, very kind of hard to find nowadays and. Uh, I don't like some a lot of times I, I will probably bring this out I mean of course if it was like a big band sitting or something like that or a jam session you know I would definitely bring it but you know just to carry it all around with me all the time and have it here there I, nah, I, I, I kind of like because these, these horns are very rare and they're very hard to find they're very delicate and and I like to you know kind of protect them so you know I like to keep them at home you know, where it's safe, <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, definitely, um, like this video, comment this video, uh, tell me what is your favorite baritone saxophone brand, and just tell me in the comments below, what, what do you prefer, Yamaha, P. Moriat, Sax Dakota, because I play Sax Dakota, um, uh, Collarworth, Cuff, Khan, uh, Bushard, King, whatever, um, Horns, do you think is the best horns that you ever played? What is your opinion about saxophones in general? So leave me a comment below and uh, let's talk saxophone. So peace. Until next time, my friends.